How's it going, Ayumi? So the Cullinans are outside right now. The wheels should be here next week. Once the wheels come, that's pretty much the job done and dusted. The M8 is currently in PPF. The guys in body shop, they're going to spray a gloss black. Both cars should be done by next week, hopefully, if everything arrives on time. I'm sorry I got you off the jobs, but I've got a super important job. Uh, we've got two jobs. He'll talk about an MA, but I've got a Rolls Royce Cullinan uh, for a 1016 kit. The kit is coming from America, as well as the wheels. I need you guys to smash it out. Body shop, I need you to fit all the kit up, dry fit it, and then PPF and wrap. I need you to get the old car done in Nardo Grey. So we've got a month to do this car. It's not much time, but this guy's paid extra to get it done. So that's dry fit the kit. So that'll take about a week and a half, two weeks. Wrap the whole car, get it all done, finished, all the fine little details, all within a month. I know that's pushing it, but this guy's paid extra to get it done, so is it possible? Yeah, I think that's achievable. Uh, the boys through the body shop should be able to do that in the first week and then uh, get it ready for wrap. Um, hopefully, you guys will probably need to make a few small adjustments, so we'll give you half a week sort of leeway there. Even uh, if you come in on the weekends, I just need it flat out. Yeah. This is one of those guys where I can't delay him. If you delay him, then he'll just might not, buy, not buy another car. Yeah, look, it's a big kit, but I think uh, with the boys together, they should be able to do it, so. Wicked. Uh, if we need to put some overtime hours into it, we'll look at that after the first week, uh, see where we're tracking. Because he's also got an M8 as well, which is some crazy kit. Yeah, well, we've got that for wide body conversion. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more than four weeks, I guess. There's a lot more adjustments and things like that that needs to be made to that body kit, um, including the wings, bumper replacements, and we're going to get air suspension on that unit as well. So it's going to give us a little bit of leeway. We've also got to get the coloured PPF out of America, so I know that could take two or three weeks to get here. So I think realistically, six to eight week time frame on that one is what I've told the customer. That's a big job. You think it's so, doable? All good? All right, nice one, guys. Thank you. So we've got a Rolls-Royce Cullinan in for a 1016 kit. Uh, right now, as you can see, they are preparing the kit uh, as in a dry fit to make sure it fits before we glue it on. At GVE, we've done a lot of body kits in the past, all the way from Chinese body kits to OEMs. 1016 Industries, you know, the guys in the US have absolutely smashed this. We've done the first Cullinan and, it, you know, it fit really, really well, but it still required work in terms of sanding it down and making sure it fits perfectly. As you saw in the previous video, we are currently working on the BMW M8 competition for the Hordor body kit, uh, one of the wildest kits you're ever going to see. Um, let's see how they're cracking on. So the reason why we painted the body kit in black is only because we can't wrap around the edges. Uh, so when it's on the car, you won't see the body color, which is blue. So we thought we'd paint it in black, which the customer was more than happy to do. So at the very end of the job, we'll be applying the colored PPF from Inositec. We'll be leaving a one or two mil gap that's uncovered. With gloss PPF, this isn't an issue because it's virtually invisible. However, with colored PPF, the edges aren't covered. We do have to leave a one or two mil gap. And that's only because it's quite thick. There's no uh, way we can get it in between the creases. Otherwise, it simply won't stick. So here's a car that GVE are very familiar with. It's the brand new Lotus Samira first edition. A customer picked it up last week. It's his first brand new car, so he was super excited. He actually made the inquiry a few months before he purchased the car to make sure he had everything in order. He asked a few questions about what we do in terms of protecting the paintwork, if ceramic was better, if PPF was better. In the end, he's gone for both. Full PPF on the exterior, uh, full ceramic on the interior, exterior, wheels, the whole lot. I'm using that. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm using that. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm using it, man. Bro, we don't help. Yeah, I'm using it. How am I going to polish this? With hopes and dreams? Oh, yeah. Take it here, bro. Right, yeah. We've just seen the 74 plate Lotus come in. It's got swirl marks all over the paint. I'll show you why we need to be polishing these cars, even if they're brand new. Now, come over to this. 
get my torch out. Or add, that's even better. Let me show you. Look at the swirl mark on this. So, we did a quick video and we're going to set the video now of the before and after. As you can see, brand new 74 plate. Looking at the paintwork, swirl marks all over it. We're going to transform this. One of the questions I get a lot from customers is, my car is a brand new car, it doesn't need polishing. As you can see in this video, it definitely does. The paintwork is very good from manufacturer, however, they aren't specialists like us. We need to go around the car to make sure the swirl marks, light scratches are taken off before any PPF is applied. As you can see in the video, you can see the difference. This is what we include in every PPF package that we offer. At Unit E, we are flat out with we have here. Over at Unit 15, Andres is going to see a very special client. Let's go see what he's up to. So guys, uh, one of my good customers has given me a call saying that he has uh, a friend of his who's looking to sell their Bentley. Now, it isn't something that we normally would do. A lot of the time we do stuff over the phone, but this instance, I wanted to go out and view this car particularly because it's a Bentley Continental GT Speed. Now, what makes this car very interesting is it's a 2015 car, but it's only done 5,000 miles and it's a one owner vehicle. And the reason why she's selling it is because she's not using it. And she's leaving tomorrow to go to Greece on holidays. And she said, Andreas, if you want to do anything, you need to come today to come and have a look at the car. So that's why we're on the way down now to see what it's all about. Hello, yes, we're just at, we're at the it's at the dispatch office, is that where it is? No, you're in the wrong place. Oh, okay, that was a, oh, one second, I'll have to reverse out then, bear with me, sorry. Is it a bit further no, down, is it? The, no, as you turn the road, you go straight down from where you were coming, you go straight down, you just take a right, like you're going to Harrods. Oh, okay, okay. Two gates. Oh, understood, okay, there's a, there's a couple more gates here, so I think we've turned too early. Okay. A, it's two brown gates. Two brown gates, oh, okay. It's part of the building. Okay guys, we've just arrived to the location. Uh, we've just spoken to the lady and she's opened the gate for us. Let's go have a look at this Bentley. When was the last time it was serviced? November, so it's due very soon. Okay, fine. And there's just a couple of lights on the dashboard, so the, the tire pressure warning lights, uh, they've all come on. There's a couple error messages on there, so yeah, okay. Um, I mean, all four wheels are, are scuffed, so they need to be all quoted up to be repaired. Um, the car would need, have you, got a book, have you got the book with the services available? The lot, well, not the lot, with the service history. Should be in the car, okay. And the logbook is not in the car. The logbook, no, that's okay. No. That's okay, just the service history, yeah. All right, so we have. Uh... Okay, this is the handbook. That should be the service book there. That's the service book, yeah, perfect. Okay, Okay, thank you for that. I can put that back in, no worries. All right, okay, so what we'll have to do, if we're gonna look at purchasing the vehicle, we'll need to do a full inspection on it. So we'll need to have the vehicle brought to us, whether if you drop it off or we can pick it up. But um, what I can do is that, let me go back to the office. I'll look at the market, I'll see what the office we can offer you. Yeah, um, exactly. And then we can, yeah, time. yeah. Now you're, you're uh, flying tomorrow, is I that right? Back on Sunday. Okay, perfect. No worries at all. Um, would you like me to try, oh, we'll try and get in contact with you this afternoon in regards to pricing? Oh, just on your oh what's up? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that then. All right. Thank 
Lovely, no worries at all. Thank you so much. Okay guys, so I've just inspected the vehicle. Um, very, very clean vehicle, full its age. Um, I mean, as expected, the mileage was a little bit lower than what I thought. Um, the uh, a few scuffed alloys, which you would expect from a car in London. Um, service history, very, very good. Every year it's been serviced, um, regardless of mileage, which is exactly what we want to see. It's due for a service now. So what I want to do, I'm going to go back, look at the market, see what we can offer her and give her a call this afternoon. Now that I'm all done with the viewing of the Bentley, the next morning George called Unit E for any updates on the BMW M8 and the 1016 Rolls Royce Cullinan. Hey, right? Yeah, good, thanks. You? Yeah, good, thanks. How's it going at Uni? Yeah, it's all right. It's all good so far. Good. It's busy, busy as always. Got a few jobs lined up next week, uh, so it's going, going good. What's the update on the cars? Uh, so the Cullinan's outside right now, uh, the 1016 one. It's going to get washed and then we're going to have a final look around it and then the wheels should be here next week. Once the wheels come, that's pretty much the job done and dusted, then it'll be off to the customer. The M8 is currently done from PPF. Okay. Uh, the guys in Body Shop are primering the body kit. They're going to spray it gloss black, and then that will go into PPF for the, the Midnight Purple uh, PPF to be put on. And then that should be done within a week or so. Everything's here for the car. The wheels are here. I think servicing need to do fit the air suspension key on it as well. Once that's all done, then it should be good to go. Nice. So We're getting there. Both cars. Yeah, both cars should be done by next week, hopefully, if everything arrives on time. Very nice. Okay, cool. All right, let's see you in a bit. Nice one, man. Take Cheers, care. Bye. So now George is all up to date with the progress of the vehicles. Let's go back to Uni E and check on the BMW M8. As you just heard from our conversation with George, the body panels of the 1016 kit are currently being sprayed body color, uh, so the same color as the car. Whilst they're doing that, the guys in detailing are preparing the Cullinan for full body wrap. It's been a few weeks that we've been working on this car. As you can see, the guys are currently wrapping the car in Inositec Nardo Grey, specifically picked by the customer. Uh, he really likes Inositec's paint-like finish, uh, something we've done on his other Cullinan, but in a different color. So he specifically asked us to do it in this brand. Hello. Hey, how are you? Very well, thank you, Mustafa. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. All good. I haven't disturbed you, have I? No, no, not at all, not at all. Perfect. Uh, did you see the pictures I just sent you of the progress of the I, uh, Cullinan? I did. I was on the phone to as you sent them, so I forwarded them to him whilst we were on the call, and he's ecstatic with the progress. He thinks it looks amazing, so... Perfect, perfect. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. The car's grey and he's wrapped it grey. What was his thoughts on that? Uh, I, I, I don't know, to be fair. You know what these guys are like. He's, he's seen a car online, I think. Uh, it was a similar colour, and uh, he just sort of sent me that, and that's what he wanted it to look like. Wicked, man. So, yeah, it's all going well. The wheels... Um, they're giving me an update. It should be like another couple of weeks from now, uh, but they've, okay. they've speeded up the process. Um, so it's all going well, man. It's all going good. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, yeah, just update me when they come. Yes, look at um, Whilst I have you as well, Mustafa, um, he's got a uh, Chiron, um, the same customer. That, uh, he's got a Chiron that he's bought over from Dubai. Nice. Um, so it's in London at the moment. Um, he took it out over the weekend. Um, you know what London roads are like, speed bumps, everything. He's managed to scrape the, the splitter at the bottom. It's not visible when you're sort of outside the car, but if you get underneath it, it you can see it's damaged the carbon. Right, okay. Um, one, is there anything you guys can do about that? Um, second thing is he's wanting to potentially wrap it completely different to the to the Cullinan. He wants to go matte black on the front. Um, it's carbon blue. Um at the back, so he wants to leave the carbon exposed. Um, it's got PPF on there, so it would just be the front portion. And he also wants the wheels to match. I'm not sure if you guys can do anything about those because they are um, they are carbon on those as well. Uh, let's do the first things first, and let's repair the so we can repair carbon here. Uh, okay. We've got in house body shop. Um, so let's get it collected. Where's the car right now? Um, it's in London at the moment. It's in a uh, storage facility. Okay. It, it is ready to be collected whenever you can sort of get it in. All right, I'll speak to Mo and see when we can collect it. We'll get the car on the ramp, we'll assess the damage, and then you can let me know when the customer decides on the ramp. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Cool. No problem. Thank you very much. Wicked. Thank you, man. Appreciate cool. it. Take care. Nice one, man. Speak soon. All right, bye. -bye. bye. While the guys are flat out on the 1016 Rolls Royce Cullinan, back at Unit 15, I have a catch up with George about the Bentley. George? 
Um, this is Bentley Continental. I saw the other early in the week. Oh yeah. The GT Speed. The really low miles one. Yeah, yeah. So four thousand five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. One owner car. Yeah. Very good condition. I, mean, I saw it underground. So it's a bit hard to really inspect it. Needed four alloys. Yeah. But full service history. Every service was done. By Bentley. By Bentley. Jack Bartley's. What so, year is it? Sixty-five plate. Okay. So the face black on model, black, right? Black on black. What can we buy it for? I think I can get it for late forties, early fifties. That is insane. Four thousand five hundred miles. We need to obviously warrant the mileage, but yeah, I know, I know the few people would probably move into that. Yeah. That's really good value. I know it's something we don't normally stock, but I just thought, you know, because of its mileage, low mileage, low owners. Yeah. I mean, that sort of money industry. when you think a GT car, that would have cost you the best part of 150,000 brand new. Easy. Still in pretty much new condition. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a good buy. Can we get it in for an inspection? Yeah. So I'm trying to get it in. Um, yeah. And put it on the ramp. Did you think you've anyone for it? Yeah. Definitely. I can think straight away. But I think yeah. first things first, let's warrant the mileage and then yeah. we'll put it out there. Okay. Easily find a buyer for that. Yeah. Brilliant. Nice. Cool. While star crunch numbers for the client, let's swing back over to Unit E for a very special arrival. So the customer was super happy with how the progress was on his 1016 Cullinan. For a hypercar like this or any supercar, it's very common to have damage under the splitter, but uh, we will take care of that. Ozzy, our service technician, will explain a bit more about it. Good morning, guys. So behind me, we have this Bugatti Chiron, and we're going to do a number of things to this. So the first thing is the wheels are off. They're going for a refurb, and they're getting a new color. So stay tuned to see what color we're going on that. Number two, the front splitter has been damaged, obviously because it's such a low car when it's on the floor. The splitter has cracks and damage underneath. So we're going to be repairing that. And the good thing about this is, this splitter is actually blue carbon. So we're gonna color match and put color into the lacquer after it's been repaired. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so after we got some wrap work, we got some PPF work, we're gonna have some detailing work. Then we're going to have the video guys out. So every single department's going to be involved in this in one way or another. Stay tuned. The video is going to be epic. I'll see you soon. So it takes a real specialist to repair carbon. Thankfully, we've done so many supercars here. Nine times out of 10, the previous sellers have scratched them. So it comes into Unity to get repaired. The same is with the Chiron. We have to be very delicate in terms of sanding down the old lacquer off to make sure we don't damage the carbon weave. But again, these guys have immense experience, which is why it was a really easy job for them to do. So now that David's finished painting the body kit, he's now flat and polishing it in preparation for the vinyl wrap. Over in the PPF in detailing bay, the guys are now doing the bonnet and the door shuts. So they're moving into the final stages of the wrap. The vinyl that we're using for the car, which is the Inositec Nardegre, is extremely thick. So it won't go into every recess. So we took it upon ourselves to paint it in black, wrap what we can in gray, and all the bits that we can't do will be left in black, which matches the theme of the car. So we're currently in the final stages of the body kit being complete. As you can see, David's putting Tiger Seal on. Uh, one of the things the customer mentioned was he did not want the body kit to be drilled into the car. So if he wanted to sell the car, it can all be removed without affecting the paint light. So we're back in body shop. The guys are very happy with the test fit. They've made the adjustments they need to make. Once that's done, they'll spray it, they'll flat and polish it, and then they'll head off to detailing and PPF where they'll apply the Inositec Midnight Purple. So the reason why we spray the body kit, even though it's going to be covered with the Inositec uh, Midnight Purple is because vinyl and PPF stick a lot better to paint than exposed fiberglass. So with the Bugatti Chiron splitter, we would have preferred to do it off the car. However, that required a lot of stripping on the front end and the customer requested for us not to do that. So we did it in situ. As you can see by the finish, uh, now that uh, Anagen is polishing it up, you can see that you can't tell that it's been repaired.
We are called upon our good friends at Bespoke. Whenever we are flat out, we use them. Uh, but as you can see, the cars are currently in the oven, being prepped in preparation for the respray. As I mentioned, the wheels were done by Bespoke, our good friends. Usually, it takes about two or three working days to complete a set of wheels. However, this particular design took a lot longer due to the customer's specific request. So it took about a week and a half, but as you can see, it's an immaculate finish, exactly what the customer wanted, but that will be fit on the car once it's all done. The guys are now unwrapping and rewrapping it in matte black. Uh, let us know what you think. Do you think it looks better in the original color, in light blue or matte black? So the guys have been absolutely flat out with this wrap. The customer actually wants it for the Singapore Grand Prix, which is this weekend. So once our wrappers will be done with it, it'll go to Heathrow Cargo, where it'll be put into an airplane, flown to Singapore, and then the customer could have it the next day. I'm super excited to show the customer. This only came in is because we're currently working on this color in it, which is getting the test of secret right now. They called me up to get power, if you just be repaired, I want to do a color change, and if you can match my other color in. So we bought it in, we repaired the under splitter, so that was completely scratched. As you can imagine, it's a low car. It scrapes all over the place and it takes it around Monaco. It takes it around Europe. So as you can imagine, in between now and then, it gets scratched. We took a long time deciding on what color it should be. He initially thought Narda Grey because his other cars are Narda Grey. This guy's a massive collector in Europe. He's got about 70, 80 supercars. We decided on matte black to match his other color. In. I don't know how long it'll last for. Maybe it might be back in a few weeks to get it into color change. So Moan Transport is calling me right now. I know we need to get it loaded, but let me know what you think. How would you spec your Chiron? Would you do it in this specification? Would you change it? Let us know in the comments below. So the car's loaded now, as you can see, it's all good to go. I should see you in about uh, an hour, two hours max. But as you can see, it's all lo locked and loaded to go. I'm super excited for you to see it. I think you'll be very happy with the results. Right, so what a week it's been. First, you've managed to see the Bugatti Chiron, which came in initially for a wrap. However, the customer then damaged it and you've seen us repair the front splitter all within the space of a week. That was intense. Secondly, we then get to see the Rolls-Royce Cullinan with a 1016 body kit. You can see how that's progressing and I cannot wait to see the finished piece. We then move on to our purchasing department where they get to show you an insight of how we buy cars. You guys have to stay tuned until next week to see, did we buy that? Did we find the customer for it? You'll find that next week. But lastly, and this one I'm pretty excited for. It's not a most exciting car, however, it is one of the most out there body kits. That's right, the M8. I cannot wait to see how that looks once it's completed. Make sure you stay tuned and watch for next week.